Mo, I always forget to tell y'all this shit, but I'm gonna put it in the first thing in the video because you never, y'all niggas might not watch the whole thing. But if you have any questions, if you have any questions about anything, like literally anything, bruh, like it doesn't have to do with this YouTube, like literally about anything, you can hit me up. Uh, everything, all my social medias will be in the description, like the links to it, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram, all that shit, bro. It will be in the description. If you need to ask me questions, you need help with anything, let me know and I got you, bruh. Like, cause you never know, someone may have the same question. I tell y'all niggas, I always tell y'all, but I tell y'all at the end of the video. Some people might not watch the whole video, but I'm telling y'all in the beginning. Like, man, look, this is Dr. Seco Suave, man. I'm about to tell y'all niggas some real shit. Yes, this video was 30 minutes. I really do apologize. But it's so much shit I had to tell y'all niggas that I couldn't even... I didn't want to break it into two parts because it's it's too much. Like, I'd rather tell you this shit now. If you honestly want to know about this shit and you really want to, like, like make it far in life and shit... Yo, watch the whole video. Simple. I told y'all niggas, you know, how to protect. I'm going to give y'all key points on the video. Stop chasing after people. You want to have an abundance mindset. Y'all niggas ask. I know y'all niggas trying to get hoes, but y'all can't chase the hoes. Y'all got to let the hoes chase you because there's too much energy being wasted. You got to, uh, I told y'all niggas how to meditate, what I do, how long I've been meditating. Like, you want to eat clean because you don't, you don't want to put, you know, you don't want to put in a Mercedes. Your body is a Mercedes. You put premium gas in the Mercedes. You don't put regular gas in the Mercedes, my nigga. Shit like that. I told y'all niggas, you know, you have to be on your purpose, bro. Also, I told y'all niggas, um, what else? That how to protect your energy. It's gonna be people that in your life that's leeching off your energy, bro. It's like you don't even know it. You know, you have to watch who you have sex with because when you're having sex with somebody, you're you're connecting. Like you, you two are one, and y'all are exchanging energy. So you have to be careful who you're having sex with. You like shit like that. It's a lot of shit, but like I have it all in this video for y'all. This is. 30 minutes of pure knowledge, bro. Pure gold, like I always say. If the video is long, you know it's a banger. But uh, this is some real shit, bro. Like, this is really, like, honestly, like, some genuine real shit. And y'all niggas may not like it, but somebody will like this shit. It may help somebody out. Uh, hey, all I got to say is if you really want to succeed, bro, you really want to do this shit, bro, this video is for you, my nigga. It will truly help you. Like, so much shit will be coming towards you, bro. I promise you, you start meditating and you start doing all this good shit, bro, so much good will come towards you. I promise you. But uh, this shit, I'm about to get into this shit, bro. Here comes the intro in like two seconds. Hey, I'm out. Like, subscribe, comment if you knew all that shit. Gang, gang, kiss my dick. Man, y'all niggas gas me up in the comments. Y'all gas me up. Y'all gas me up. Come on, gas me up. But what's good, y'all? It's Dr. Seco Suave, the only nigga you know with a PhD in Hoology and Asthmatology from Ancient University. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, all that other shit. But uh, I'm here at y'all niggas with a Bro Talks EP7. This episode is going to be about how to protect your energy and how to meditate. A lot of y'all niggas been asking me how I meditate, you know, all that shit. I got y'all niggas. This is going to be my most, like, it's going to be, I think it's going to be one of my realest and my favorite EPs that I do, like, this whole series on. And, uh... Yeah, so look, recently, like this last, okay, so I'm gonna give y'all niggas two weeks. Last week that just like ended was the worst week I had, like in a long ass time. And then the week before that was like a good ass week I had, like the best week I had in a long ass time. That last week, the week before last week was like my peak week. Like that was my peak, like everything was going good. So I want to challenge myself and see if this meditation shit was like real deal. Like if, like if it was really like, you know, like if it really affected me, if I stopped doing everything, like if I stopped doing all the good shit I was doing, like, you know, I exfoliate every day, work out, go to the gym, that's the same shit, wake up 5 o'clock in the morning, or before, like, sometimes I'll wake up before my alarm clock, so I'll wake up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'll start my meditation, and I'll drink tea, like, twice a day, and I stopped doing that shit, and, bro, that week, this last week was so hectic, like, it was hell, like, bro, if you're not meditating now, I suggest you start meditating, if you don't, so be it, you're missing out on a lot of good shit. I, when I started meditating, bro, I had a lot of good shit coming my way. You dig know what I'm saying? So look, I started meditating May 12th on Mother's Day. And I did that shit for a whole fucking month. And uh, I literally, like, recently I did like a whole month of meditation, you know, building good energy and shit, you know, all that shit, bro. I'm going to get into that shit later. But I was doing all that shit, and then basically what I did was this last past week, I threw all that shit away, and I wanted to see, like, how my body would be affected. And like I told y'all niggas, that shit was ass. So, look, this is what I'm going to tell y'all niggas. If you really want to do this meditation shit, you have to be willing to make sacrifices. The sacrifices I made was 
uh, you know, waking up early as fuck in the morning. Uh, I cut out a lot of shit that I used to eat, like processed foods. Like, I love going to 7 Eleven and getting me some tequilas. I mean, not tequilas, my nigga. Taquitos. Why be fucking them shits up? So I stopped doing that shit. Uh, I started packing my lunch. You know, start a new diet, bro. You really want to make, like, this shit is all sound mind, sound body. So I don't mind drinking tap water. I don't mind. I've been drinking tap water all my life, nigga. I'm from the projects and shit. So I've been drinking tap water, hose water, all that shit. But recently, you know, like the video Solo Minaj was saying, I already knew that, you know, it was fluoride and shit in the tap water, but it was like, nigga, I didn't give a fuck. But like, when I stopped drinking tap water and shit, and I started like replacing it with spring water and like some occasionally I'll drink purified water, I really saw like a big difference. Like, you know, like just body wise, like my body started to change. Like, you can feel your body changing, like you're getting healthy and shit. But your skin will start glowing. A whole bunch of other shit, bro. Like, trust me, like, nigga, this shit is this is some real shit. And so, the, and also the sacrifice I made, I took a break off of social media. If y'all niggas remember, I took a break off of social media because one, I don't even like being on social media to this day. Like that whole week I had that week I threw like everything off. I was on social media dumb heavy and I did not like it, bro. Like, you know how many headaches I got that past week? So many headaches, bro. I do not like being on social media. I'll be I have a uh what's that shit called? Uh, like the time manager on your iPhone or some shit to where it's like, you know, you manage like how many times, how many, like how much time you got on a, on like a particular app for Twitter. I got like eight minutes out the whole day and I don't really use it all. Like, bro, I don't even go on Twitter first thing in the morning. I only go on Twitter like middle of the day, like when I'm on my lunch break or some shit or before I clock out from work. And, um, nigga, like you have to take a break off social media because social media is so fucking polluted, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, y'all niggas may think I'm bullshitting, but if you think I'm, I don't give a fuck, kiss my dick, bro. But uh, if you don't believe me, bro, just try it for yourself, bro. You're going to have to take a break off of social media. If you want this shit, like, if you really want to clench your, like, your, like, your mind and your body, bro. If you really want to clench your shit, I would say take a break off social media. That's what I did, and that really got me going in this shit, like, easy, like easy as fuck so i'm gonna tell y'all niggas how to meditate and then after i tell y'all niggas how to meditate i'm gonna tell y'all niggas how to protect your energy because you don't want to be out here meditating throwing all that shit away so what i did was i meditate two to three times a day first thing in the morning like i told you i'll wake up five o'clock in the morning or sometimes i'll even wake up before my alarm clock which is at like three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning i prefer waking up before my alarm clock because i heard alarm clocks they have uh they're 400, they're 440 hertz, and that's, like, it'll start your day off bad, so I love waking up before my alarm clock, and then I'll meditate, like, before I get to work, like, when I get to work, or literally when I get out the shower, if I got enough time, and then I'll meditate right before I go to bed, and then when I get done meditating, I'll, uh, you know what I'm talking about, what, what the fuck, goddamn, oh, I'll listen to 430 hertz, uh, sleeping music while I go to sleep, and I put it on my speaker, and I think that's what honestly helps me wake up before my alarm clock. Like, every time I do that shit, I wake up at, like, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. I swear to God. So, uh, also, when I go to sleep, I sleep on my back. And I'm going to tell y'all niggas I had a, uh, what, what else did I have? An out-of-body experience, I think that shit's called. Like, nigga, I was witnessing myself. Like, I witnessed myself meditate. Like, I was sitting, like, I sat on my floor, but I sit, like, on this pillow. So, like, I can, like, have good posture and shit and shit. It's so, like, I'll sit on this pillow, right? And I also candle gaze. I used to moon gaze, but I don't do it as much. I don't sun gaze because I don't have the time for that shit. If I have enough time, I moon gaze, but I haven't done moon gazing in a while. I do a lot of candle gazing. So, like, I'll burn candles while I meditate. And, like, occasionally I'll, like, bow my head down and I'll lift it back up, open my eyes for, like, a brief second. Or, like, I'll, like, open them up real slightly so I can get some of that, like, absorb some of that light and some of that energy and shit. And uh, a whole bunch of other shit. But also... Y'all niggas have to uh, do this. Before you meditate, you want to let go of any, like, any guilt you're feeling. Also, I have a playlist for y'all niggas. That, the playlist that I use, it's a lot of videos I got. It's like 15 videos that I use. Like, you can watch. The, the favorite one I want y'all to watch first is the Avatar one. That shit will help y'all about meditation really fast. Like, it'll break it down, like, real simple. If you're not getting what I'm saying, watch that Avatar video, and it'll help you out. It helped me out. So, yeah. But uh, before I meditate, you have to do this. I do it every day because, you know, it's uh, every day is a new day. So you never know who might piss you off, who might rub you the wrong way. So what I like to do is before I meditate, I'll bow my head and I'll, you know, I'll say anybody that I have uh, resentment towards, I forgive them. Anybody that I have any grudges held against, I forgive them. Anybody that I'm frustrated towards, you know, shit like that. You want to get all that hate out of your out of your body. You don't want to have none of that bad energy. In you, and you want to honestly, like, like genuinely, like forgive, like. What I do is I'll say the names. I so I say, oh, I forgive so-and-so. I forgive so-and-so for how they did me. 
And then there's some people that really did me dirty and it's like, yeah, I forgive them, but I don't want to fuck with them no more. You get what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Like, trust me, I'd rather have people that I don't want to like, I, for, I honestly, like, I genuinely forgive you, but I really don't want to fuck with you. Like, I don't want you in my life no more because you're bringing out, you're bringing bad energy towards me. You're bringing bad vibes towards me. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you forgive them, but like, don't put yourself around them. Like... It's simple as that, bro. Like, don't be having people around you. Don't have things around you that will bring your energy down. Because there's some people out here that will really, like, suck your good energy out of you. Like, they will drain you. Like, you ever talk to somebody and it's like, you're not feeling it at all. And it's like, after you got them talking to them, it's like, damn. Like, you're just, like, drained. Like, like you got hella weight on your shoulders and shit. Bro, those people are the people that you need to stay away from, okay? People that's, like, some people, you don't even know who they are. That's why you always manifest. You say, I want, I want you know, these people out of my life. Whoever is bringing back energy bad vibes towards me keep them out of my life that's what i always manifest and i always say that every time i meditate keep these people away from me keep these people out of my life i don't want no bad energy no bad vibes near me not in my life i don't i want all my good energy for myself basically what you want to have is you want to be selfish as fuck with your energy and i mean that shit like if you're fucking with somebody and it's like, like I told y'all, they're like draining you, bro. Like every time you get done talking to them or you're around them, it's like you got weight on your shoulders. Like they're a burden to you. You have to cut them off because they're, they're not going to do anything but suck the energy out of you, bro. They're going to drain your energy from you. So you have to get rid of those people. And nigga, I even had to cut my own mom off. It's like, nah, I'm just playing. I'm fucking with y'all niggas. I ain't, I ain't have to come out. I'm bullshitting. But like, I had to cut off some people and it's like... Bro, like, when you get rid of them, you will feel so much, like, it like, it will be so much weight lifted off your shoulders to where you'll be, like, you'll be like, damn, like, they were really draining me like that, bro. If you don't, bro, trust me, you will have to evaluate your life, and you will have to see who's, like, who's really, like, you know, who's good for you and who's not good for you. Also, what I need to tell y'all niggas is, you have to, if you, you know, if you sexually act, I'm talking about, like, if you fucking bitches, not, like, getting your dick sucked, you know, like, if you fucking bitches, you have to watch them, because when you're having sex with somebody, you're inside of them, and, you know, they're, like, y'all are one, like, y'all are connected, so you have, and when you're doing that, y'all are exchanging energies, all right, so, that's, a, that was a big key for me, like, bitches that I was fucking, I had to, like, you know, I had to sit back, and I had to be, like, is this, like, you know, like, I had to see how I act, like, how I felt after I got done with them, and it was probably, like, one bitch out of the whole time after I started meditating, it was, like, damn, like, this bitch got bad energy, so I had to cut that bitch off, because it's, like, I did not feel good, like, Bro, you will know what I'm talking about. Like, that, you will literally feel, like, the energy. Like, you will feel, like, j you will just feel it. It's so hard for me to explain, but if you do what I'm telling you to do, you will know what I'm talking about. So, that's why I have to tell y'all, y'all niggas have to be careful, you know, who you're having sex with. Because some people may not have good intentions. Some people may have bad intentions. Some people might have good intentions. When you're And when you're connected as one, y'all are exchanging energy. So, you're getting her energy, and she's getting your energy. So, if you're on good energy, of course she's going to be feeling livid. She's going to be feeling fantastic because you have nothing but good vibes and good energy in you. Now, if she has some shit going on, you will feel that shit. You will feel whatever she has going on, and you will feel her shit, bruh. Even though she doesn't have to tell you shit about it. Like, she doesn't have to tell you what's going on. But, like, when you're inside of her, or, like, when you're done, you will feel that shit, bruh. You will feel her energy. Bro, like, this shit is crazy. Like, I swear to God, you will feel that shit, bro. On everything I fucking love, you will feel that shit. So, look, that's the things I have to tell before y'all do this shit. Now, look, I'm going to tell y'all niggas how I meditate, all right? So, I told y'all niggas when I start all that shit. So, look, what I do is I sit down on the pillow, right? And I cross my legs, like crisscross applesauce. And some people, they, you know, they like to hold their hands, like, palms up on their laps. I like to put my hands, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know. Like the gang shit, like the blood pyro shit. I like to do that shit, but I like to relax my hands. And y'all niggas may be like, oh, this some stereotypical cartoon. Nah, bro. Like the reason why I like doing that shit is because I know when I'm in the deep state of thinking, when I don't like feel my body no more, like I can, you know, you'll feel your body leaving, like you'll feel your spirit leaving out of your body. And that's when you get good at this shit, like when you do it for a long time, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's the out of body experience I was telling y'all niggas about. You will have an out of body experience, but you don't have it all the time. But you'll feel your spirit, like it won't be in your body no more. Like everything will be like so loose and like, you won't feel shit, and like no matter what, it'll feel like you're sleeping, but you're wide awake. Like I'm dead fucking ass, bro. Like I caught myself, like you know, you're in a good meditation, like a good state of mind, when it's like you feel like you're sleeping. Like when usually when I get in a good state of mind, I feel like I'm like in outer space or some shit, bro. Like everything gets dark, and it's like I see like little stars, like little like little ass stars. Like if you look into the galaxy, that's what I see. And when I'm closing, it's like I'm like I'm floating in like in the galaxy or some shit, bro. It's fucking hard to explain. But, like, 
And when you do that shit, bruh, when I like feel my fingers and like, and I don't feel shit and it's like, I try to open up my hands, bruh, I cannot open up my hands because it's like, I'm so deep into my thoughts. I'm so deep into like, my bo- my spirit's not in my body no more. Like, nigga, my spirit is no longer in my body. And that's how I want y'all niggas to be because that's when you'll really be like, you know, on your shit. Now, what I was also trying, I wish I never, you know, would have threw off all my meditation because I wanted to awake my third eye. I mean, Seiko Hendrix got his third eye, but I, like myself, I don't have my third eye. My alter ego has his third eye already, though. And so, when you're doing that shit, you know, you want to sit crisscross applesauce, you know, blood signs, whatever, you know. That's what I like to do. And you like, when I, before I start meditating, I like to meditate to music. So Luminati, he say he likes guided meditation, but I don't like guided meditation because they talk too fucking much. Like, I just like, you know, like regular, I look up, uh, you know, 430 hertz music or I look up meditation music and it doesn't matter like how long it is because like, it really doesn't matter. Like the best time to do it for you probably is like, you know, for y'all niggas, if y'all not in school, anytime because y'all don't have to, y'all don't have shit to do. But like, if you have a job or anything, I'll say the best, like the best day you're going to get some working with meditation, like on the weekends, bro. Cause you don't have shit to worry about. You know, you can meditate for how long, like the longest I meditated for, it felt like an hour, bro. Like, I don't know how long it was. Cause you know, I didn't, I don't remember, but it just felt like it, I was like, like I was gone for a while, bro. Like it's a natural high. You feel like it's a natural high. Like I had edibles. I feel like I be. I feel like I be eating edibles and I don't eat them shits. Like I haven't had an edible in a minute. So that's how I feel. I feel it's like a natural high. It's a good high, bro. And it's like you feel like you're in outer space. Your but your spirit is no longer in your body. It's like when you have an outer body experience. It's like you can like look at yourself. Like I sat there one. I'm not finna say until I'll tell y'all. That's another bro talks like about when I want to talk about my outer outer body experience. But just know I had a few. So before you meditate, you want to breathe in and out. This is how I go. I go like, and I do that about three or four times. And when I every time I do that, you get more relaxed. So one breath. That's like you're let, like you're letting go of all that energy, like you let go of all the bad spirits, and you're letting go. You're literally let go of everything, and you're getting more relaxed each breath. By the fourth breath, fourth or third breath, maybe fifth for you, you will feel relaxed, and that's when you can, you know, you get your, you want to have good posture because you want everything flowing through like good and naturally. So you want to have good posture, and then like nigga, you just get to work. Some people say you know focus on your breathing, and that helped me. I will, you know, focus on my breathing, but, like, I will focus more on my heart than my breathing, if you get what I'm saying, like, I will be focused on my heart, like, how everything's going through my body, so, like, that's how I really, that's how I started meditating, so when I said, you know, he would think some shit, like, you know, shit that you want, I tried that, like, you know, I thought about my purposes, and now, like, you know, I manifested them, but I do that as a whole other meditation, like, I do that as a manifestation uh, meditation, I don't do, like, you know, like, a cleansing meditation with that shit, I actually, like, focus on my body when I meditate, and, like, you know, I focus on my heart, my lungs, like everything inside of me, like spirit wise, like not even spiritual wise, but like body wise, because like everything is sound mind, sound body. And then once you focus on that, and then shit will become spiritual to where it's like your spirit will leave your body and shit. And like you won't be inside your body anymore. Y'all niggas may be like, what, boy, what the fuck is you talking about? Not in your body, bro. When you start meditating, you will no longer be in your body. That's how that's all I can say. Like, I can't explain it. No simpler. Like you will not be in your body. Your body is just a vessel, bro. Like, if you honestly think about it, your body is just a vessel. Everything, you're, you yourself is like, your, is like your mind. Everything is spiritual. It's like your mind, bro. That's why niggas say sound mind, sound body. Your body is a vessel and your mind is you. Y'all niggas may be like, but this nigga crazy as fuck. But nigga, I'm dead serious. Like, you, you will not understand what I'm saying until like you actually do it, bro. So, I meditate for like 20 minutes minimum 25 15 minutes minimum 20 minutes is like an average i always meditate for like 20 minutes now y'all niggas maybe want to know about the third eye y'all niggas ain't ready for the third eye yet because y'all ain't even gotten y'all ain't even meditate yet y'all have to for me to start worrying about my third eye it took me about three weeks now y'all niggas may be like thinking damn see i've been meditating it's not working bro the meditation is not going to be like it's not going to be instant it's going to be hard as fuck when you first do it because it's like you're going to have so many thoughts going on you're going to be you're going to be so focused on trying to clear your thoughts that it's going to be damn near impossible so that's why you don't want to be you know overthinking and shit you just want to just chill like just do just just do it you're going to get off track a few times but it's okay just get right back on track like breathe in and out relax yourself <sighs> like do that shit a few times and then you'll be back in your state it took me about a week and a half, two weeks to actually, you know, master that shit. To where, not master, but like to where I know what I'm like, to where it's like, I got good at it. 
Like, bro, like it's 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 so easy, and I promise you, out of all the people, I'm a overthinker, bro. I have really bad anxiety. And I'm a overthinker. If I if I can meditate, bro, you can meditate. I promise you. So you do that meditation shit, and uh, that's about it. Like after you get done meditating, you don't want to get straight up. I like you know winkle, like uh, wag my like you know like move my toes and shit, and my fingers, because I want my spirit to actually like I don't want to like shock like shock my spirit, shock my body. I like you know wake everything up gradually and slowly, and then like I don't even get up straight away. I like turn over on my stomach and like you know I'll get up like like a dog or some shit like you know my butt in the air and like I'll stretch and like I'll like you know gradually wake like get up because you know I don't want to like shock anything. So that's what I do. And there's some more to it, but, like, if you niggas got questions, y'all can just ask me anything. Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all niggas, if y'all got questions, ask me. I don't mind answering questions at all, but I don't want the video to be, like, 30 fucking minutes, even though it's damn about to push 20 right now. So, that's on that. And now I want to talk to y'all niggas about protecting y'all energy. Now, look, like I told y'all, y'all have to worry about, y'all have to watch who you have sex with, you know, because uh, you're exchanging energies. You have to watch who you talk to because some people, just by talking to them, like, you're exchanging energy because y'all are, you know, talking and shit. And you can feel their vibes. You know what I'm talking about. You can feel someone's vibe and all that shit. And you honestly, sometimes it's not, it's like, sometimes you can't help it. Like, when I'm at work and some people, it's just like, bruh, get the fuck on. Like, you know, like, you know, it's just like, it's like, you know, it's nothing you can help but, like, it's, it is what it is. Like, you can cleanse that shit out later on. But, like, don't be, you know, you know, make that shit easy peasy. Like, in and out. But, uh, it's gonna be... What else? It's gonna be some people that you know. Like, I told y'all, it's gonna be some a few people that you fuck with. Like, it may be some of your closest friends that you might have to cut off. I didn't have to cut off. I don't have a lot of, you know, close... I have, like, two good... Clo three close friends. And they're all, you know, they're all Gucci, like, we're Gucci, like, they, they don't have no, I don't even fuck with people like that. So it's, it, it was only like one, like I told y'all, like one person that I had to stop fucking with, honestly. And it's just like, bruh, cause it's like too, like too much of a burden, like, like they're draining me. So, um, you want to get rid of those people. You want to like, you really want to cut those people off. And like I told y'all niggas, y'all want to be selfish as fuck with your energy. You want to be selfish, bro. There's nothing wrong with being selfish with your energy because let's put it like this. You also want to cleanse your body, bro. You want to, you know, eat clean and shit because let's put it like this. If you got a fucking Range Rover, right? What you got to put? Like, nah, I'm going to say Mercedes. Like, if you got Mercedes, you got to put premium gas in it, correct? What happens if you put regular gas in a Mercedes? I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to hold you. I don't know, but I'm assuming something bad will happen. Like, there's a reason why people don't put regular gas in the Mercedes. You put premium gas in the Mercedes. Your body, think of it Think of it like this. Your body is the Mercedes. You don't want to put nothing bad in your body. You don't want to put sugar in the tank, right? Everybody knows you don't put sugar in the gas tank. You don't want to put be putting sugar in your body. Like, your body is the gas tank, but you don't want to be putting bad shit into your body. Like, that's you. Like, your body is the car. Like I told you, your body is the vessel. You don't want to treat it bad. You want to be, like, eating clean and shit. You want to protect, not even protect it, like, protect yourself, but, like, take care of yourself. You don't want to be out here, no, drinking alcohol. If you're going to drink alcohol, drink wine. Like, drink wine. Um, That's all I can... If you like drinking, like, just drink some wine, my nigga. Eat dark chocolate. You're going to have to cut out all that sugary shit. Tap water, that was a hard one for me. I had to stop fucking with tap water because, you know, I don't mind tap water, bro. So, I drink spring water now. And, like, for everything, like, I drink spring water, mo. Um, What else? I mainly told y'all niggas how to protect y'all energy, like, in the beginning of the video. But, uh, that's pretty much it. There's gonna be people that, you know, you, you're messing with. And it's like, they're, it's like, here's a key for y'all right now. Some of y'all niggas may have girlfriends, right? And it's like, y'all are always arguing. If it's not one thing, it's another. You have to cancel that bitch like Nino. I hate to break it to you. You have to get rid of that bitch, mo. Because she is doing nothing but draining you, bro. She's bringing dead weight on you. She's... She's not good energy. Is if it's always something with like oh that's exactly how I'm gonna put it. If it's always something with a person, you have to get rid of them. You, Cause you're you're wasting all your energy focusing on what you can do better to you know get the shit right. You have to you have to get rid of that shit, bro. You cannot you cannot be like that. Now this is also another thing, y'all niggas. Like I told y'all, y'all may be trying to get hoes and shit. But if you're trying to get hoes, this is when I when I was meditating. You don't chase after the hoes, bro. This is how I am. I only fuck with bitches that have high interest in me. You dig what I'm saying? And when I say that, it's because when they have high interest in you, they won't mind chasing you, bro. 
simple as that. And this is where abundance mindset comes in. Y'all niggas may be like, bro, I'm fuck with a girl right now, but it's like, I don't know if she has a high interest. And, you know, you may be trying to do your all, to, you know, to keep the girl and shit. But, bro, you honestly, if you got that abundance mindset, you cannot give a fuck. You have to be on your purpose and be on your shit. And when you're, like, I'm going to tell you just like this, bro. If you're on your purpose, most likely, if you're on your purpose and you're actually on that shit, eventually it will get you, like, to where you can, you know, live off of it. Like, you can make some money. Like, some of y'all purposes may be YouTube. And what's, the, what's your goal on YouTube? You know, you want to have a big uh, su subscriber group. You want to make money. And you want to, with that comes clout. Bitches love clout, bro. If you're honestly, if you're chasing after a girl, you're, you should not be chasing after any bitches, bro. You need to be chasing your purpose. You're wasting too much energy chasing these hoes. You're wasting too much energy chasing these hoes. You know how much energy you're wasting chasing these hoes when there's bitches out here that will chase you? Bitches are attracted to successful men. B simple as that. Bitches chase after successful men. They don't chase after non-successful men. If you're chasing after a bitch, you're not chasing your purpose. If you're chasing your purpose, bitches will chase you. Success is just like, it's it's simple like that. That's my key I have to tell y'all niggas. Don't be chasing after none of these bitches, bro. Make them chase you. And if you're worried about somebody you're fucking with and it's like she's, she don't want to chase you, bro, it, it is what it is, bro. You have to have an abundance mindset, bro. It is what it is. You cannot do that shit, bro. You cannot sit here and dwell on the past. You have to keep moving forward. You have to get on your purpose. You have to move on with shit, bro. Simple. Simple. You have that abundance mindset, you will honestly not give a fuck. Because it's like you're working on your purpose. If you're on your purpose, bro, that shit comes naturally. That shit comes naturally, bro. Bitches come naturally. Like, if you're successful, bitches come naturally. Money comes naturally. All that shit comes fucking naturally if you're on your, on your, if you're on your purpose, if you're on your grind. That shit comes naturally, bro. So stop chasing these bitches, bro. Stop chasing them. If they really want you, they will, they will come after you. Because I don't know, bro. Like, I'm not chasing, I'm not chasing no bitches. Y'all shouldn't be chasing bitches either. If you, if you watch my video, you chasing bitches, you got to stop watching my videos because I don't want you chasing. Stop wasting your energy chasing these bitches, bro. Stop it. Like, I'm so fucking serious. Stop chasing these bitches, bro. Like I told y'all, if you on your purpose, bitches and money will come naturally. Nigga, if I'm on my purpose right now, and I promise you I'm going to get my purpose, like, I'm going to be successful off of my purpose, I can guarantee you for a fact bitches will be coming left and right. And I already got bitches coming left and right, bro, because I'm on my purpose. Don't be out here trying to chase bitches, bro. That shit comes natural. They will naturally be attracted to you. They will naturally magnify towards you because you're on your shit. You on your shit, bro. You have to, you know, have to be on your purpose. You have to have an abundance mindset. Y'all know what an abundance mindset is? That's basically to where you don't give a fuck. Like, you're on, you're so busy on your shit, bro. You don't give a fuck what happens. Because at the end of the day, you will be happy with, because you're on your purpose. If you're not happy because you're not getting no bitches, you're fucking sad, bro. Like, <laughs> you a sad ass nigga, mo. If you sad because you're not getting bitches. Now, if you're not on your purpose and you're not getting bitches and you sad, that's your fault. But if you on your purpose and you're not getting bitches and you're sad... Bro, there's nothing to be sad about. That shit comes naturally. Like, you will, there will be nothing to lose when you talk to these bitches, bro. Don't chase after these hoes. I'm telling y'all, stop talking so fucking much. Stop chasing after these hoes and chase your purpose. Chase your purpose. This video about to hit 30 minutes, but, like, this is some real shit that I've been wanting to get off my chest. Like, I was right, waiting for, to, for this episode ever since I thought it, because I have all my episodes written out for y'all. I got them all written out. They're like, everything is written, like, each episode. And I was literally waiting for this. I, I even did an experiment to, you know, test my body for y'all niggas. And if you're really watching these shits, I'm, I'm thankful for you watching this. But, honestly, if I was my age, I would like to be watching shit like this because I had to learn most of this shit by myself. If you're watching this shit and you're, like, 12 years old, 13 years old, you know, 18, I'm 20. So, if you're, you know, my age or below, bro, you're getting so much knowledge that will help you in the long run. Like, you may not need it now, but it will help you eventually. Like, bro, this shit is nothing but knowledge. And it's like, everybody's not willing to tell you this. Y'all niggas may be like, bro, stick to 2K videos. Niggas, nigga left a comment in my video saying, bro, this shit is whack. Stick to the 2K shit. Bro, I'm not doing that shit. I'm a, I'm a, I entertain y'all. I drop three videos a week. Two of the videos, two out of the three be entertaining, making y'all laugh. And one out of the three is real shit. Like, it may make you laugh. But I don't intentionally try to make y'all laugh. It's just that's how I talk. But, like, 
I don't really try to like, I really just try to speak real shit because I have a thousand, I have 1,695 uh, subscribers. I'm about to hit 1.7K. It's like, nigga, if I'm out here, you know, making y'all niggas laugh, I, how am I helping y'all? Like, how? You truly think about that, like, me making you laugh, what is that doing for you? But if I'm making you laugh and I'm spitting, like, spitting some real shit to you like a big brother, like, if you read my bio, that's what I have in my shit, like, my YouTube about me, it's like, I want to be like a bigger brother, like, the cool-ass big brother of y'all niggas. I'm over here spitting, like, real game to y'all niggas, like, I'm helping y'all niggas, like, with life shit, bro. It's not a lot of niggas that, you know, that care, like, I actually care about y'all niggas, like, I'm actually out here telling y'all niggas life shit that I've been through, like... Bro, to help y'all niggas out because like y'all niggas may not know. I have a lot of I have a lot of subscribers, you know, that that uh that been in jail, shit like that, and that you know that try to stay out of trouble. And a lot of us niggas, what's the main what's the shit that keeps us out of trouble? Video games. That's what got me in the video games because my mom she didn't want me like in the streets because I was from the project. So she got me a video game early at, at an early age to keep me, you know, out the project shit. But like when I went to my dad's, I was in the projects anyway. But like she got me that shit because she didn't want me to follow that influence. So she got me to, like, video games keeps us out of trouble. So I feel like I can relate to y'all because we all play video games, but we all be going through shit. Like, we all need life advice, bro. So I'm going to leave y'all niggas with that. If y'all niggas got any questions, y'all can DM me or anything, bro. Like, I'm here for y'all. Like, trust me. Y'all have any questions, y'all can ask me. I don't mind helping at all. Like, I swear to God, I do not mind helping at all. If you made it to the end of this video, kudos to you. Hey, I fucks with it. Um, if you didn't make it to the end of the video, hey, that's your laws, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't told y'all niggas the shit. The shit is here. You're gonna wish you watched the whole video. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I left some shit out, but all this shit is coming off the top of the head, bro. And I really don't be mean to be mood, like, talking in circles and shit, and, you know, all over the place. That's the only way, that's the only way I can really come about it is because there's so much shit. It's so much shit that, like, y'all have to take into consideration. It's so much shit y'all have to know before y'all do this shit. Like, you really have to learn about yourself. You really have to study your body. You really have to study your mind. You really have to study your soul. It's a lot of studying you have to do, and it's a lot of observing you have to do, and it's a lot of knowing about yourself you have to do to where you can be, you know, this shit is effective to you. So, uh, yeah, that's this shit, man. Y'all niggas, hey, I told y'all this was gonna be some real shit. I didn't even want it to be 30 minutes. It ended up being 30 minutes, but, hey... 30 minutes of pure knowledge, pure gold, my nigga. Like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new, and I'm out. Damn.